right guys, well, I'm back today with another LPVO or low power variable optic. This one is made by Shepard Scopes and Optics Planet sent this out to the channel for us to try. If you like this scope or anything else from Optics Planet's website at the end of this video, remember to use the coupon code 704TAC for 5% off your Optics Planet order. Before I get too far into it, I also want to give a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for sponsoring the channel with ammunition. They sent over the 223 and they just came out with some precision 223 as well as subsonic 300 blackout and subsonic 9mm. And they've got the code 704 tactical for free shipping on M orders over $200 so definitely take a look at these guys without their support the channel couldn't continue at the pace it does so let's dig into this scope and right off the bat I want to discuss the price it comes out to about $550 on sale on Optics Planet's website after that 5% discount it's closer to $500 but you can see it's not the cheapest optic in the world it really is competing with a lot of premium LPVOs so how does it stack up and right out of the gate it's got a lot of nice specs and features and this one is the R mil version you can get a few different versions available on their website so you definitely check out Optics Planet for the full listing of those Shepard optics we'll take a look at the instructor manual in a second but right out of the box, it comes with the optic and the flip-up lens covers, no mount. And you may be looking at this mount and uh, pretty impressed, at least I am anyway. So this thing is the new Monstrum Tactical, uh, very, very premium scope mount. And it comes in at some incredible prices. So I'll leave the information for this in the description below. But it sits on a 30 millimeter tube. And this Monstrum Tactical Offset Mount really puts it exactly where it needs to be. So it's a, a great just overall size and weight for an LPVO. Uh, let's talk about the overall handling of the optic and the mechanical structure of the optic and the user interface. So it is illuminated red and green but the illumination leaves a little bit to be desired. It's definitely not like super daytime bright, but it's a lot brighter than other optics I've tested in the past. Although when you're talking about a $500 optic, the illumination knob feels a little cheap compared to some of the other ones I've tried like Vortex and Primary Arms. But the illumination does get the job done for dusk and twilight situations. Um, and this is more on comparison with Primary Arms and Vortex's two to $300 scope range when it comes to the illumination feel and function. Some of those $500 uh, vortexes and primary arms, the illumination is a lot brighter, and again, the knob is a lot better, so something to consider. Now, these turrets are actually locking turrets, and the detents are, are okay. Again, they're on par with a two or $300 scope, and again, I've seen a lot more premium detents um, and feel of the turrets on the other five and six hundred dollar scopes that are competing with this but these are locking turrets and they do the job well it's sighted in very simply it worked out really well so there's no real complaints it's just when it comes to the feel of them you get a more premium feel out of other optics in this category the zoom lever though is where it really shines except for the fact that it's not adjustable it's ultra smooth it works out fairly well but if you wanted to add a throw lever an enhanced throw lever you can't really do that here unless you do a clamp on style it's not large enough for like a three gun competition we want to reach up and throw it over but it does the job okay uh, and that's pretty much all of those specs and features in a nutshell about this optic let's talk about the glass clarity its performance down at the range as well as the reticle because that's what really sets this apart it's very good glass and it's a very good eye box and eye relief the eye relief is how far away you have to be from the optic to make out a good sight picture. And if you're unfamiliar, if you're too close or too far, the image kind of blacks out or disappears. And that's very common with scopes and prism optics. This one that was very forgiving. You can be close or far away and still make out a sight picture. And the eye box, the up, down, left, and right is also very forgiving, especially at the one power setting. Perfect for CQB situations. Now, I already showed you guys the reticle system in the intro, but I want to show you guys again. It's a circle crosshair section with leader lines and then leader lines left and right for windage and moving targets it also has a range estimator built into the reticle system which is very convenient a lot of other companies are doing this so i'm glad to see they've included that and the reticle is incredibly usable at every single zoom level but just know since this is a second focal plane optic those bullet drop compensations and ranging tools are going to be effective only at the eight power setting there are some other first focal plane optics out there that those ranging tools are effective at every single zoom level but just like every other second focal plane this one has to be on the maximum setting 
in a nutshell, the glass is very clear. It's got a lot of nice specs and features. I would love to see this price drop down to about $350. If they could drop the price down to $350, this would be one of the best options right around that $300 range. Because it's about $500, I can still recommend it, but there are a lot of other good options and a lot of options that are even better than this. So it's not like you're going to be disappointed in the scope, but there are some really good options out there that you won't want to pass up. Shepard Scopes knows what they're doing. It's a nice optic. I absolutely love it. I just feel like they missed the mark on the price, but that's my personal opinion. Maybe I'm missing something, but there is a lot of other optics on the market and it's becoming almost flooded. So you have to step up your game if you want like the best type of a review. Like, I mean, you really just got to step up your game right now. So I like the optic. Overall, it's great. I just wish it was a little bit cheaper. And a huge shout out to Optics Planet for sending this out and letting us try before you spend your hard earned money on something that allows me to test it out so you can kind of compare. Definitely check out some of those primary arms mid-tier optics that I've reviewed on the channel, as well as the Vortex kind of mid-tier optics, that five and $600 range, and you will not be disappointed in some of those. They're also available on Optics Planet's website, and you can use the code 704TAC to save you some money on those as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.